internet is I heal it. I gotta, I'm gonna need a robotic arm for that arm. Just, I've used up my right arm entirely with all my waving. Hello, internet is I heal it, and I had to share something with you that I found while I was doing my upgrade required uh, explorations. Upgrade required, uh, which is this project I'm working on, which just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Is involving um, the rendering of disabilities obsolete through technology, but the beautiful thing about this is it allows me to explore all sorts of different little nooks and crannies of science and science research and genetics and biomechanical stuff and robotics, and it's just so cool. I stumbled upon this great, amazingly cool thing, and I had to share it with someone, so I thought I'd share it with you, YouTube. Yeah? This is, I would call it, a rat and gold silicone robotic sandwich that swims through its own blood. Yummy. So this is, this is a biomechanical living robot. It's alive! Inspired by the beautiful undulating motion of a manta ray. A guy by the name of Kevin Kit Parker is at the aquarium with his daughter, and his daughter is obviously much braver than me. She goes to the petting zoo part of the aquarium where you can actually pet the rays. You know, those petting pools that everyone except me will go and, and touch the weird slimy animals, have them nibble on their hands and stuff. Not me. She's a, obviously a far braver child than I am as an adult. She's playing with one of these rays, the ray sort of skitters off, and he marvels at the beauty of how this thing moves through the water. It's a beautiful undulating pattern it uses to get through through the water. His life goal is to engineer a heart. And he sees in these rays this heart-like motion. He, I shouldn't say he, it's like a number of people involved. This is very complicated. I'm making it much simpler than it is. But basically what they did was they took 200,000 heart cells from an um, embryonic rat and they laid them out on this flexible silicone material uh, in such a way that it surrounds a, a multi-pronged uh, flexible gold skeleton. So what happens is these muscle cells have been, uh, what would it be called, optogenetically? Optogenetically altered. So they've been genetically altered to respond to light. So when you hit them with light, they tense up and, the, and fold the wings down and then the tensile strength of the gold skeleton brings it back up into shape again. And so it may, can make this beautiful ray-like motion and get through the water. I'm a ray man. They create a little sort of double-pronged guide for it that flashes light at it and, and causes the muscles to, to contract at different times. And that's how they can pilot this thing through the nutrient fluid. So these things don't move through water. They move through what is effectively their own, you know, their own sustaining blood-like fluid. The technical term is it's a phototactically guided, engineered tissue soft robot, a biomechanical living robot. A science magazine called it a ray of light. I love this, um, how technology is now embracing the natural world. I mean, nature's had, you know, millions of years to get this right, and it just makes sense. We should rip them off. This combination of, 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 of man and machine, the organic and the inorganic, uh, is just, I mean, this is, uh, it's just revolutionary to me. Absolutely fascinating. I was also just very impressed because this guy, this Kevin Kid Parker guy, he talks about his work as a way of impressing his daughter. And I just thought that was kind of cool. That, like, I want to impress my son. I buy him a Pokemon pack of Pokemon cards. This guy, this guy builds a freaking organic robot. How cool is that? So I just wanted to share that with you. I am going to go off and go to the YouTube studio in Toronto now with Bratlett. YouTube studio. That's right. Let's go, let's go. Uh, what are those snail looking things? Next stop. They don't look like snails. They do, those are snail like looking. Where are we now? What street is this? Yeah, cool. You gotta find us. Woo! <laughs> what did you get? Shoot it in slow motion.
Dude, did you get him? You got him yet? No, he's still. So hard. You got him. You got him. Hopefully we can use the uh, Toronto YouTube studio space to do some recording as well in the future. So um, until we geek again, cheerio! You! Yes, I'm talking to you. You can help Upgrade Require become a reality. All you have to do is just like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and hopefully I will get out of the basement and out into the real world exploring a future where disabilities are rendered obsolete through technology and all the fun, cool stuff that comes along with that. So please, like, subscribe, it would help us so much. Thank you.